What's up guys, we're Rich Glenn here, here with your coach's notes for Tuesday, July 20th. We're on day two of our wave cycle. So similar to the back squats yesterday, we have part A every two minutes for nine sets. We're doing our 5-4-3, 5-4-3, 5-4-3 on bench press, starting about 50%. And if you have some lifters that are a little bit newer, maybe they've only been here for about a year, maybe we start talking about the 8-6-4 on their waves instead of the 5-4-3 so they can get a little bit more out of their lifting. Also remember to coach your athletes on progressing wave to wave and not just increasing weight every set that they do. So wave two, we start a little bit higher than wave one and progress again, wave three, similar. Okay. So about 20 minutes there, then part B, nap workout, we have 12 rounds. We have rowing with a 30 second rest in here. And so what we're doing today, 200 meter row guys, 170 for the females. And we're looking to, if we want to do RX, we're trying to do a negative split on each of those rounds. Okay, so 20 minutes part A, 20 minutes part B, that leaves me about 20 minutes for a warm up and transition. During my warm up tomorrow, I'll be making sure to coach my athletes on knowing, uh, being able to relate their stroke rate to their pacing so that they know kind of how to maneuver through those negative splits. I'm also gonna take time in between that, making sure that upper body, shoulders, backs are kind of warmed up, open up, maybe do some bracing work so that they're ready for that bench press when they get into it. Okay, you guys have fun, we'll see you out there.